Hey guys, Cold here. Welcome to day 130 of the Free Brew account, guys. Picked up that silver today. Uh, we do have that amulet tomorrow. We got a clan boss key on day 132, which might be fun because we might try to do like a nightmare and ultra nightmare day. Get, you know, top rewards for both. And uh, in terms of everything else, nothing too exciting. But what we have exciting, guys, is tomorrow um, we should getting we should be getting the new um, fragment fusion starting for rule. The hunt master already did a video um, today, so you should check it out if you haven't already. Um, there's no news just yet of what kind of events we're having, so probably the news are coming either tomorrow when the event starts or before the event starts. So we should be able to have a proper schedule of when the fragments are coming and how easy it is for them. So, in me testing that champion today, I was thinking, okay, this champion doesn't look that great. And that's my biggest issue about this. So, on my free-to-play account, I'm usually going for um, events, fragment summons that are really worth it. So, so far, I've been doing some of them that were really worth it. And the only one that I've missed so far was Astralon, which, honestly, it was a good nuker, but it was too close to Iron Brago. For me to actually go for it and i think i did the best choice there not to go for it i saved many resources focused on my account in general and then went for it and in terms of my account right now i could use a nuker like rule the huntmaster because it would give me another option for me to have as damage but unfortunately dargalhain is way better so depending on how hard the events are uh for for rule, I'll try and do them, but I won't go out of my way to do them. That's the thing. Um, like right now, I have a lot of resources saved and you guys should be saving those as well. In terms of XP boost, these are from uh, the, the Clan B Clan. Okay, these are the referral ones I haven't used. Look, uh, they're even gonna expire in 33 days. I'm gonna use these first and at the end, if I do need them, I'll use these as well. But I'm also going to have the advanced quest resetting soon enough. These, this reset should should coincide with maybe a champion training tournament. So 55, that's about five days in. I should do these today uh, right before the reset. So I might have enough time for this XP, XP boost to actually affect my account. I do have one XP boost going on right now, which I should use, honestly, because I do have an overflow of energy. And what I'll do is probably just level up champions up until their maximum level, but do not uh, rank them up because that's going to give me lots of points. And that's my usual go to uh, whenever I have, I've got this kind of events coming. Look at all the brews that I've been saving. Um, there's two reasons for me saving these brews. One, obviously use them for events, get easier points than usual and the second one is honestly saving silver having one champion and and feeding him brews you might not realize it guys but this costs a lot of money so if you put six brews that's, that's 42,000 silver 42,000 silver that's a lot of silver if you do this enough times and depending on all these brews let's say i've got what um 300 459 500 600 brews uh yeah, 600 brews, that's a lot, a lot of silver. I can't even do the maths right now, but that's a lot of silver, guys. And it's honestly on your base, um, uh, it's, it's honestly on your interest to not keep feeding the brews when you are low on silver. So this silver, I was very low. I've got 10 million. That's not going to be enough for artifact enhancement events. If you've got more than one or two artifact enhancement events, I'm going to be in trouble. But uh, I will be farming the campaign a lot, so I'll get the silver eventually. And uh, that's what you sh you guys should be doing as well. I have some event rewards saved up. And here they are, the champion training, which is this one, which is basically like the fusion preparation event uh, that we usually have. I can pick these rewards up. The energy, I'm not gonna pick up. And tomorrow I'll get a void chart as well, which is pretty good. Void chart. Um, on Friday, we will have the 2x on voids, if I'm not mistaken. So that's pretty good. And the summon rush, uh, I'll get a, another 100 energy. So 300 energy, not bad. It's about how much? 100 gems, right? So uh, let me show you the Doom Tower that I'll do today. So today, um, I'll be starting off with, because I didn't do the boss yesterday, so I'm not starting with a, a round number. I'll be doing the this boss. 
the uh, free spider. This should be extremely easy, to be honest. Like, uh, I can use my Brogni here, even. This should be extremely easy. Um, I'll even put Duke in there. Do I need speed boost here? Wait, do I have an HP burn here? Oh, no, I don't have an HP burn. So, it's going to be an issue here in terms of... Oh, wait, no, I do have an HP burn. He has an HP burn, right? 45% chance. Totally forgot, but does he have the accuracy? I don't think I've ge geared him with accuracy. 163, is that enough? That might not be... That might not be enough, so I'll give him... Give him some... Oh, I don't have speed here. So I'll give him more accuracy then. If I can give him speed, I'll give him accuracy. Uh, these are bad bad uh, weapons, both of them. But 235 accuracy, yeah, we're we're more than ready for this. So this should be this should be a cool way. Um if we get frozen, we've got our Dark Alhain there to actually uh do some nice moves with her big nuking ability. When she gets frozen, she actually boom, look at that. Look at all the buffs that Brogni gives to the team. I need to get him to six stars, by the way. And uh, the next champion training, he's gonna get to six stars. He's long overdue to become a six star. I mean, all the effort. <laughs> we should get him to six stars. Um, oh, and by the way, when I was talking about rule, another bad thing about getting rule will be I won't be um, summoning him until we actually have an event that I need to summon him for. So I can actually pick up those 500 points for a uh, champion chase tournament. So the way that you be beat this spider guys is with an HP Baron, honestly, um, or a block revive. If you don't have either of those two, she'll keep on reviving and it's not going to be good for your team. So uh, the more freezes we get on Dark Hain, the more moves she's going to do. Honestly, I need to beat these two spiralings here on the sides. So many debuffs on me. Wow. Okay, now we have the block debuffs. Oh, um, get a shield. Oof, remove the buffs. There's a the big AoE. Not too much damage from Dark Hain there. Maybe I should have gone a more uh, tanky setup. You should try and kill the spiralings here on the sides. Because those um, actually take off the debuffs from the big spider. So that's an issue. Doom Priest would have been great here. Instead of Duke, honestly. Uh, Duke doesn't really do anything here. So maybe I should have used Doom Priest. They're doing some damage. So we need to kill, kill both of the adds in order to actually apply um, our debuffs on the boss. And... Well, our debuffs are going to be attack down, defense down, speed down, HP burn, lots of debuffs. Get some protection going. Look at that, decrease attack. Okay, one of the spider links is down. Should be able to get the other one now. How did she get frozen again? I swear, they need to fix Darklehane. I, I swear, the, the freeze debuff has brought so many changes to this game that... Um, so many problems to this game that it's... It's it's just crazy. When they introduced the, the freeze debuff through Tormin, and then the freeze debuff when Tormin freezes, he creates other issues with all other champions with the buffing. They keep on trying to fix it. So now we need the HP burn to basically kill the spider when the HP burn is still on. So if that happens, then the spider will die. And look at the the um the cool graphs when the spider actually has got an HP burn. That's called like a frost frost burn uh, graphic, I think. Boom. We need our Brogni though to do his basic attack here. That's how he actually applies it. There it is. There's the HP burned. One turn duration though. So I'll, I'll 
actually try and see if I can actually hit again with my A1. So I can land it because the boss is now um, getting low. I was trying to show you uh, my cat sugar here. There we go. Kill off the spiral lanes. Let's do an HP burn. There we go. Okay. I think we're good. Now we can take off the take out the spider. And it should be an easy win. Come on. There we go. Boom. That's it. Void shard. Uh, ready for Friday when we got when we have the 2x. And then for the remaining of the day, I'll do the rest of the waves and uh, go all the way to 49. That's good because 50 actually gives me some energy and I don't want to be using that just yet um, until we see what rule brings to the table uh, with the fusion. So um, honestly, this account is going well. I've even done some farming for gear last night. Uh, I've done some dragon. Didn't get anything exciting. Uh, we've got this item here, nothing too exciting as well. Uh, I'm doing uh, the most clan balls as I can, but usually it's three keys, guys, by the way. Uh, I do three keys and then Nightmare. If it's Force Affinity, I'll do it. If it's not Force because I don't have any other um, slow champions ready for it, then I probably won't do it um, because I need to change their gear. And I usually just use Armina at 1 to 4 speed instead. So this was the video for today, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already and guys i'll see you tomorrow with the rule the huntsman and the uh, fusion plan for our free-to-play account here thank you guys and i'll see you next one see ya